Jumbo, fellow dreamers. In today's video, I am doing a spring break travel collab with the darling Lindsay. If you guys don't know her channel, I will link it below. She's just the sweetest girl ever from Scotland. You guys are going to love her. So in our collab videos, we are going to be sharing with you our favorite travel tips, our favorite airplane outfits, makeup tips, all sorts of good stuff. You're not gonna wanna miss this. I'm Anne, and this is Annie Simple Life. So let's talk travel essentials. There are a few items that I have to have with me when I'm traveling on an airplane, regardless of the duration or where I'm going. And the first thing is my cooler full of snacks. My husband and I are both gluten-free and finding nourishing gluten-free food in the airport is kind of difficult. So what I like to do is I like to stock up on fresh fruits, things that are hearty and travel well, so like banana or grapes or berries in a little plastic kind of container. I also like to bring some sort of a hearty vegetable, things like cherry tomatoes, carrots, cucumber, celery, things like that, and some sort of a protein, whether it's some sort of an organic beef jerky stick or some raw cheddar cheese or some cooked chicken. And of course, I always pick up a water when I'm at the airport too. And when you're flying, you're not using that much energy. So I normally just bring little tiny, like uh, toddler sized amounts of those types of foods. And it keeps me going throughout the flight. To get these items through security, it's really easy to do. They're kind of a little iffy as far as if you can bring cooler packs, if you can't bring, you know, those freezer packs. If they're frozen solid at the time you're going through security, you should have no problem. This is in the United States. If you're concerned about your freezer packs being taken away, you can do what I've done in the past, which is throw a bag of frozen peas in your cooler. <laughs> and then it'll make it through security. It might thaw out a little bit, but it'll still keep your items fairly cold. And then once you're past security, hit up a Starbucks, ask for a couple of large cups of ice, and then you know fill them into a gallon size Ziploc or something like that, and that'll keep your items cold throughout the flight. So just a little tip. Other carry-on essentials that I have to have with me, I have to have my phone, of course, and wallet, and you know, those general things. But when I have my phone, I like to load it up with things like podcasts, or audiobooks, things that I can listen to. And of course, I have to have my noise canceling earbuds. These are Skull Candy. I'll link some below if you're interested in, in finding those. There are really nice ones you can get, like the Bose in ear noise canceling headphones. Those are really intense. They're kind of expensive, um, but they're, in my opinion, much more comfortable than wearing those big noise canceling headphones. My husband swears by those. For me, they're just too bulky on my head. They make me claustrophobic, I don't know. And it's hard to sleep when you have these, well not for him, my husband can fall asleep like, anyway. Um, but for me, they're just not comfortable. So I like the in-ear noise canceling headphones the best. Other things, if you guys know me at all, you know I have to have my wet wipes. Um, this particular one, the wet ones with the active ingredient, something that starts with a B, chloride. Instonium chloride at 0.3%. Um, they make some that have less than 0.3% of the active ingredient and they're not as effective from the research that I have done. So these particular types of wet ones, I love them. I have way too many of these. And I, again, I have said this in the past, I should buy stock because I love wet ones. And I'm not normally all about the chemicals, but in this case, I will make an exception. I also like to have some sort of a saline nasal spray, not the ones that are like the Afrin allergy ones, cause that'll make you loopy. No, just the plain saline nasal spray. And this helps to keep your nasal passages moist and that helps to um, trap germs that might be circulating through the recycled air in the airplane. And believe me, I look real attractive when I am shoving this thing up my nose when I get on the airplane. It deters people from sitting next to you if you're flying Southwest, so just a tip. My husband kind of like gives me the shifty eye, I don't know. So then I also use some sort of combination of motion sickness remedies and these are my three go-to. I always, always, always use these. I used to use bonine or bonine and dramamine and I can't do it anymore. It makes me grumpy, it makes me tired and I don't feel like myself. 
So what I do is I use C bands. These are just little pressure point bands that you put on your wrists at a particular spot and um, they work really nicely for me. I also use Motion Ease oil. Um, just put a little drop behind your ear on each side, you know, five minutes or so before you get on the flight. And then I also take two ginger capsules before I fly. And these are just like the Solgar ones, really inexpensive. And uh, the combination of these three things does the trick. I can go to Disney World now and ride Tower of Terror with no problem. So I swear by this combo. And the last thing I have to have with me is my Thieves Essential Oil from Young Living. I've talked about this in the past. My husband and I put it on our feet before we put on our socks and get dressed for the day before we're going to the airport. I also like to use it actually on the airplane because one, it smells delicious. Two, it kills airborne germs around you and it helps to boost your immune system. So Thieves Essential Oil goes with me everywhere and I love it. So let's talk makeup. When I am going on any kind of vacation or travel, regardless of if I'm gonna be in a wedding or if I'm going on the beach or if I'm whatever, I always bring this amount of makeup with me. This is my standard, what I bring. Um, my husband and I don't check bags. We always bring carry-ons. Mama doesn't have a whole lot of room for a bunch of makeup. <laughs> so this is what I bring, my essentials. So the first thing that I bring are my two makeup brushes by Bare Minerals. You guys have seen these before. I have the Flawless Face Brush and the Full Coverage Concealer. I have brush guards on them too so they don't get all messed up when they're in my bag. So I always bring some sort of Bare Minerals foundation. This is the foundation in medium. And then I always bring the Bare Minerals Concealer. This is the Summer Bisque color. And then as far as an eyeshadow goes, I always bring Celestine. This is a really pretty shimmery kind of gold coppery color. And it works really nice as a cheek highlighter too, so double duty. And I always bring some sort of a blush with me too. This is a discontinued blush by Joelle from Etsy. So then as far as mascara goes, I always bring some sort of waterproof mascara. So the old pink and green trusty Great Lash Maybelline mascara is what I've been using lately. I do use Organic Wear by Physicians Formula. This thing runs down my face if I blink wrong. So I always bring some sort of waterproof mascara. If you guys know of an organic mascara that is waterproof, please let me know in the comments because I have yet to find one. So then as far as an eyeliner goes, I generally take with me a little tiny lip brush and I just dip it into the mascara and then run it right along my eyelashes and that gives me a waterproof eyeliner too without bringing any additional products. For lips, I always bring the Burt's Bees 100% Natural. This is the one in Autumn Haze. I've talked about this a lot and it's a really pretty neutral lip gloss and I really like it. Good for day, good for night and everything fits inside this little tiny pouch. I mean this thing is just itsy bitsy. This was by Bare Minerals too. It came with one of those Christmas sets from, I don't know, four years ago or something. So really, really tiny and it fits nicely inside my carry-on. So of course I need to put my liquids in the 311 uh, liquids bag for security. So the mascara and the lip gloss do come out of this bag when I'm going through the airport and in my liquids bag. And then once I get to the hotel, then it all gets transferred to here. And now let's talk plane outfit. So if I'm traveling in the winter, this is generally what my outfit looks like. Pretty basic. These guys here, pajama jeans, as seen on TV. If you have never worn pajama jeans, you are missing out. These things legit look like jeans. I mean, look at that stitching. It looks just like jeans. But they are so stretchy and they feel like pajamas. Best invention ever. So then I also like to do a long sleeved type of t-shirt. This is just a white t-shirt from Target from a long, long time ago. And then I also like to bring some sort of a scarf because it's generally cold on the plane. So this is just my bright yellow cheery scarf that I like to do too. Okay, let's talk spring or summer. So in spring or summer, this is generally what I do. I have really wrinkled capris. They've been in my closet all winter. So apologies for that. But I do have these capris. These were from I think Kohl's, are they Chaps brand? I can't remember. Um, so capris and then some sort of a t-shirt with a cami underneath, kind of like this. And then again, my scarf because it does get a little chilly on the plane. And then I'll also have a cardigan with me too, just in case. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. And thank you to Lindsay for also participating in this collab. Again, her channel is linked in the description bar below. If you haven't already and you'd like to, hit that button down below, subscribe so you never miss a daily Dreamland video. Kiss someone you love today and I will see you all tomorrow. Ciao.